Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Stoneblock Mod Pack. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing fantastic. Today's episode 14, and I've got a pretty awesome episode planned for you. But first, let's do the question of the day. So with Christmas coming up, I always ask people like what they want for Christmas. You're allowed to pick one item. It can't be cash, by the way. And you can have that one item for Christmas. It can be anything in the world. What do you pick and why? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you use hashtag question of the day. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And let's get into it. All right, guys. So to get started with today's episode, we are going to be working on moving the... We said the power of yesterday. Uh, this was like a temporary power. I thought that it would be better than what it was. I'm not a fan of how this is set up and we'll probably end up using this room for something different, I think. We are actually going to move this downstairs to give us more uh, production. So, oh, we uh, leveled up our pickaxe. I think we actually have a modifier now. Yeah, we have one modifier, fantastic. Awesome, okay, so uh, some of you were actually telling me that there's a hotter block than Yalorium. I understand that there's a hotter block than Yalorium. Let's actually take a look at that real fast just so I can talk about it. So bucket of lava, crucible uses. There we go. So uh, obviously there's draconium. We could try and make this superheated element. Um, that requires steel. You know what? I think I can actually probably make that. That doesn't seem like that would be that hard of a block to make. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and try to get that done. The reason why we didn't make it before was because we didn't have the proper materials, but as long as the easy steel crafting recipe is in this pack, I think we should be good to go. Let's remove all this, grab that. All right, so yeah, we're gonna completely, completely redo that setup. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, because making lava faster does seem like a better idea, so. All right, so to make lava, uh, the easiest way to do so is to take coal, pulverize the coal, so we'll do that. And then from there, take iron and put that into the uh, induction furnace. So I don't want that to enter into the side. There we go. So that should not long go in there anymore. So we need four steel total. I think it's like two or three per piece. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's only one. Interesting. Well, what we can do is... Uh, we can change this to output and then put that to input. That should be going in there. Yeah, there we go. So that made one steel ingot. So I'm pretty sure it takes four per. All right. Um, so that heating element's gonna be cool, but to make a lot of it, it's gonna be pretty tough. Um, and we have a lot of Yalorium. So I got more gold. So let's go ahead and make some more magma uh, generators here. I'm missing lava. Okay, so let's go downstairs and get this set up. Um, okay, go down. And today we got to figure out, um, automation for our, or for our ores in the system, because we have like 2000 pieces of iron that we're going to need to eventually get rid of. So I want to, um, I kind of want to make sure that this room is like nice and cleaned up, something like that. Let's do it on this side as well. I actually think that I'm going to start posting a uh, stone block daily, guys. What do you guys think about a daily stone block series? I kind of like the idea. All right, so we've got plenty of room down here. Now, I think the easiest way to handle this would be to put our buffer in the middle of the room, which is right there, and then have all of the power feed into this buffer. So what we'll do is we'll have to get some more conduit. And then from there... Let's dig out some blocks around here. Okay. So I think if we just fill this circle with enough uh, blocks, we should be good to go. It's gonna take a little bit of work to fill this all in, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. We also need to update our tools because our tools are pretty out of date now. So crucible, so something like this, I think. Put this all right here. Actually, that needs to be done a little bit differently. I didn't even consider that. Okay, so we want the generators right here, not the other way, sorry. So there, there, there. 
Something like that, probably. So if we do it like that, then that means that the lava will need to come out of the side, which I think would probably mean that we should probably put the power right there. Something like that. And then we'll put a cobblestone, our cobblestone generator and our item conduit. Because remember the conduit has to go on the top. But since there's gonna be multiple sides touching, then I can just go like that, put that right there, and then make sure that those are all extracting and inserting. So insert, just like so. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, I'm gonna work on this a little bit off camera and kind of get this thing set up to run. Um, Cause I need to make, obviously I need to make all of the other machines and all of the other crucibles and cables and stuff like that. So I'll be back. All right guys, so the room is now finished. Took a little bit of time to get done, but we are now producing full power. So we got a pretty big buffer ready. So if we need to use any machines, we're good to go. And that's gonna lead into what we wanna do next. So. Uh, we need to get some sort of auto crafting set up for this, like, uh, these iron ore chunks and stuff. So I was looking through the crafting stuff. There's a crafter from Cyclic, this thing right here. I want to try this. So to make that, I have everything but the purple dye. So to make purple dye, I need red and blue dye. And to do that, I'm going to make beetroots and turn the beetroots into red dye. So... To get beetroots, you have to sieve dirt and flint stiffen mesh. So hopefully that'll be enough. All right, let's do that, do that. And then let's grab some lapis. Pretty sure that makes purple, right? Yeah, there we go. Plenty of purple. So how does this thing work? So it has the energy buffer and I'm assuming uh, balance grid, rotate grid, clear grid. Interesting. I wonder if it just automatically like notices what you need to do. So here's what I want to do really quick. I want to make the specter coil to run this really fast. So take that. That'll be more than enough power. So let's put this right here. All right. Sorry about that. My fraps cut out. So we've got the cyclic crafter. Let's put the specter coil on there. So now we got to figure out how this thing works. So power buffer, I'm assuming this is the internal buffer. Uh, all requires redstone. We definitely don't re want it to require redstone. We want it to always be on. So I am assuming, does it do it automatically? No. So let's put the, oh, so put that in there. Seems pretty straightforward. I think we can work with this. Okay. I like that. I actually like that a lot. All right. So, put that in there. Now, what happens if I put it into, say, the other side? Can I put it in the other side? Okay, so it definitely needs to go into that side. Fantastic. Yeah, that seems pretty easy, actually. I think we can totally make that work. All right, so what do we have for pieces? We have nine of these, so we're going to need nine of these cyclic, cyclic crafters. Okay. I think I can totally work with that. So um, we'll probably need to make more purple dye. Um, so let's see. If we're going to need nine of these, we're going to need at least eight crafting tables. So eight of these. Eight observers. I hope I have enough quartz. I should, though. There we go. Eight pistons. And then eight bone blocks. There we go. There's seven. Oh, I'm missing more purple. Okay, so we need to get some more beetroot seeds then. Do that really fast. I really do like those crafters, so that's pretty cool. We can definitely either go underground or hide them. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to finish up the crafters, uh, and then we got to figure out a way maybe to hold the items back here or something. Um, because we don't want to have to use the system to run all this. That'll be, that's, that's a lot of work. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe using another storage bus on a controller for just that. 
Another thing we could do is maybe even use the compacting drawers. I don't know if I have one of those. Let me test and see if I can make one of these really fast. I don't know if it only works on ores is the thing though. So compacting drawer, if I put this in here, will that work? Okay, so that does work, but that also takes up an extra space too. Hmm. Decisions, oh, decisions, decisions. All right, I'll be back guys. All right guys, so now that I've got, uh, you know, the auto crafters finished, the export bus finished, the spectre coils finished and capacity cards. Now we are gonna export everything into a chest, right? Everything's gonna go into a chest and then from there, we're going to use item conduit to disperse. The problem is, I'm not sure, oh, I have a little bit more. Okay, well, I actually need to make this. I just made a bunch of paper, so. We're probably gonna need to make a few more hoppers here. Good thing we have a ton of iron. There we go. So we just need nine of these. Bunch of those. Okay, so, so that we're good to go now. I'm thinking I'm gonna try, I was gonna try to put it back here. I guess we could probably just go. The The problem is, is that there really isn't a lot of room back here. Um, could probably get rid of the wall there and a the wall there. That gives us a tiny bit more space, but not a lot. I mean, this isn't something that we're gonna really see a lot of anyways. Suppose it could probably sit in here somewhere. Something like that. Okay, so let's see if we go. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's get rid of this, put that over there. We're gonna go straight down into the chest from right here. So let's put our export bus on the chest and we need a piece of cable. I hope I have a piece of cable. I should. Cable. Three pieces. Can't wait to start getting to more into um, doing Certus and stuff. How much do I have? Because, oh, 200, okay. So let's see. Straight down, crap. Straight down, there we go. So now that that's in there, we'll throw two capacity cards in there and we'll be able to put all of our pieces in there. From there, we are going to use the cyclic assemblers in each side. So we have nine different ones we need to account for. Um, put one right here. And we have to use filters because otherwise it would just clog it all up. So just like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab our pieces. And I'm just gonna set up one of these to kind of show how it's gonna work. Peace. So iron, copper, aluminum, lead, osmium, gold, silver, nickel. Okay, so <clears throat> you, you, all that goes in there. Um, these last three, there we go. So that's gonna start filling up with all of those pieces. And we'll probably have to get a speed card in there because that seems pretty slow. Next up, we need our item conduit. So just like so, let's go ahead and disable. Actually, that'll work pretty well, huh? You know what I think we're gonna try to do here? Check this out. So let's go ahead and focus on lead. So we'll do inserts and extract, but we're gonna extract to, um, let's go here. So we'll go extract to brown and then insert to brown and disable extract, okay? So we should be able to put this right back into the system. So let's see. So insert, we'll use a filter right there. Then to config that filter, we'll put lead in there. That should start putting lead into to that, into that. Always active. Uh, extract, always active. So then lead's going in there. Uh, the other ones haven't been filtered out yet. Okay, so now that we've got lead in there, we need to put our recipe in there. There we go. Always on. 
put a spectre coil on there and we are now making lead pieces now those lead pieces are being put back into this system that go right back into the chest so we have a completely uh, automatic system and once I get all of these set up to run the ore pieces through and then make this and eventually we will want to make it to where those get smelted all right guys so the operation around the base is actually going pretty well like things are starting to progress pretty good I would like to have a little bit more gravel but oh that's actually full that one's pretty full okay that one's full that's not full so we need to put hammers inside of those so i also grabbed my uh better questing book because we haven't really looked at the quests lately and i want to do that so hammer let's grab some of those let's actually make a few let's make like probably eight because each one can hold two my mouth is numb because i've been eating ice <laughs> can't talk oh my goodness all right put that in there so that'll speed that up speed that up um let's go here now let's speed that one up so we were only one short it looks like so that must be full so then that one yeah it's just it's it's pretty close now let's go back over here and see if we've went through all of our pieces yet the only thing we have left is uh is nickel and nickel is down here at the end so that means that we what are these chunks uh chunk yeah that's what i want to look for so yeah look at that man we are doing awesome so those just need to be smelted all right so let's go and take a look at this guy too because i know that i have some quests finished i have the nether star one finished flame and then i did something else didn't i i thought i did oh over here flame that one uh, i don't think i have draconic evolution or project e done uh don't want to do any of those is there any one that i want to submit right now i could probably make the floral fertilizer let's just try to get anything that we can done i've already got floral fertilizer detect consume task it wants us to consume five. Oh, i need two more uh it doesn't look like i'm gonna be able to make it it takes those are floral oh yeah okay so i won't be able to make that back it wants us to automate a mob farm two fan two iron spikes item controller let's see if we can finish that one so item controller which i don't see what is that item collector i'm sorry item collector this guy i am out of ender pearls yes dang that sucks <laughs> okay uh never mind <laughs> i can finish the other ones uh don't want to do this so it looks like we're only doing two loot boxes today flask and some lenses and then finally you guys know I love to open my loot bags. How many of the... Oh, we only have eight of the epic. And per, apparently I threw one away last episode. I didn't mean to. All right. So let me grab a chest real fast to dump all that in. There we go. All right. I hope we get something good. Something good. Put those on the bar. There we go so well, we got a growth pulser um we got an upgrade we got another specter coil so not bad actually not bad at all i'll take it one thing we we can probably actually complete that quest right now if i think about it which loot bag gives us the ender pearls it is the green one so let's open the green one real fast yeah but i'm uh i am really really considering doing daily episodes of the series I am very, very much addicted to this pack right now. And I think that it would be fun to play. I seriously not. I was going to say, do I not have any chests? What the heck? It's a serious consideration. So let's see if we can't get our hands on some interpearls to finish this off. I'm sure there'll be some in there. There we go. 
All the goodies. Not a single Ender Pearl. Are you kidding me? Wow. Terrible luck. We did get some decent stuff though. Gold, some Instone. Uh, come on. The game hates me sometimes. It really does. Let's try a couple more here. See if we can't get an Ender Pearl or two. Game, like. There we go. There, there, there. Nope. <laughs> I did get redstone, but no. All right, guys. I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on those notifications when the videos come out. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.